everyone. Uh, welcome to Yoga with Jane. Uh, today we're going to think about the sun and we're going to do the salute to the sun. And uh, when you think about the sun, think about heat and warmth and energy and life and what the sun provides for us. This sequence provides all of that. So it's very energizing. Um, I do it quite slowly because I find that more helpful. Um, just use it as a guide. Really great to practice in the morning. Um, maybe do a little warm up first if you think that's necessary. Um, but yeah, so just enjoy and feel invigorated and hopefully there's no technical hiccups. Thank you very much for your patience. So, uh, and I'm sorry that you can't see all of me all of the time, it's, I've only got my phone camera, so hopefully it will get better. <laughs> but hey, we're here, we are what we are, so let's enjoy. So uh, let's just start by placing our feet really nicely spread out on the floor, align all our bones on top of one another, gently draw the navel in, bring the hands to the heart. And just take a deep breath in and out. And say to yourself, I'm going to do really good practice for my body and my mind. And I'm going to feel great afterwards. So just take another breath, breathing in to the space above your head with your eyes closed. Breathing out all the way down to your feet. And relax your knees as you do that. Breathe in above your head and breathe out into your feet, relaxing your knees and buttocks. Gently draw the navel in now. Relax the shoulders, breathe in. Lift the arms and exhale, open the arms and fly down. Bend the knees, drop the hands to the floor. And take a really lovely, relaxed Uttanasana, so standing forward bend, line your, line your sit bones up over your heels. And just with the hands and arms really passive, just lift forward, lengthen through your belly and exhale, drop the ribs and head down to the floor. And just hang there, deep breath in and focusing more on the exhalation in a forward bend and breathe out deep, really releasing your bones and your arms and shoulders and hands downwards, let the head go. And then take the hands, place them on the floor. Step back into plank or come through all fours into plank. So spread out your hands. Breathe deep through the nose. Out through the mouth if you want, but in through the nose. And just keep pressing your palms out and down towards the floor, spreading through your fingers. Uh, gently draw the elbows in, press back through your heels. Engage your abdominals as you breathe out and then come to the floor. So you're either dropping your knees to the floor and then coming down, keeping the elbows in, or you're coming all the way down to the floor. And then just take the arms forwards, either in Sphinx or Cobra, just softening the elbows but not collapsing them. And just stretch up your belly on the in-breath into your heart. Relax your shoulders as you breathe out. Feel the belly relaxing. Notice whether you've got tension in your solar plexus. Just let that go. Breathe deep with your diaphragm, letting the diaphragm really settle on the exhale. And then dropping into Sphinx, coming all the way down, pushing up for all fours, hook the navel in and come back to the pose of the child with the toes tucked under, long arms reaching forwards. Tuck the head, breathe deep into the nose and out again. And then coming to downward facing dog. So not stressing about the heels, you know, just keep the knees nice and soft. Lift the tail up. Open your sit bones and push with your tail like you've got a real squirrel tail there. And then take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just empty into the heels. Relax your shoulders, knees. And gently just find a neutral place for your pelvis. So in that squirrel type of position, pushing the tail up and then tucking under, feeling the abdominals engage as you bring the pubic bone forwards. And then just soften the knees again and breathe out and empty into the heels. And drop the knees and bring the right foot forwards. 
So just coming back through the hamstring, just open the foot. Don't push into the heel, just open the Achilles and the sole of the foot. Dropping back, exhale, relax the shoulders, keep the spine long. Uh, just really try and lift the heart forwards if you can. Exhale, line up the crown of the head with the sacrum here. And once more into the lunge and then lift the arms, breathe in, lift. Let's take the arms down and breathe in again. Reach with the thumbs back, exhale. Relax the shoulder blades and just feel really heavy through the pelvis there. Opening the heart. So even if the arms aren't lifted, if the arms are by your side or on the hips, uh, just really breathing deep into the chest there. And exhale, lengthen and come back. And settle, breathe. And now spread out your toes, relax your knees. Gently engage the core as you breathe out. Pull your abdominals in, pull your pelvic floor up. And then bringing the left foot forwards. spreading out that front foot coming back through the hamstring so don't push the knee open don't push through the heel just feel the Achilles tendon opening and that stretch just developing right up to the sit bone spread the toes keep the feet really active here yeah? and then dropping forwards knee over the ankle long spine not all hunched up like this and breathe and take the arms up and exhale so release the shoulders don't pull on the elbows just let the elbows be soft and spread the fingers breathe deep on the inhalation and exhale relax the shoulders heavy pelvis and dropping back and coming into down dog Breathe there and lift the heels and come forwards into deer pose. So just have the chest over the hands. So it's not plank. It's kind of halfway between down dog and plank. So draw the elbows in and spread the hands out again. Just building strength, use the core. Inhale, fly away. Exhale, empty through the heels, keeping the spine long, spread out the hands, breathe. And then again, forwards into deer. And breathe deep manage the head and neck and once more lifting breathing in and emptying with soft knees into the floor emptying the arms and then walking forwards and taking forward the toes with first two fingers between the big toe and first toe breathe in lift the chest so bring your heart way forward, long spine, sitting bones wide, and then gently pull in the lower abdominals, the muscles below your navel, and the pelvic floor, and peel the belly down. Peel the belly, the ribs, the chest, the head, and then lift up, breathe in. Thinking about the front of your spine as well as the back of your spine, so kind of Lengthen out through the front and back of your body and exhale. Push through the, three, the feet, breathe in, fly up. Exhale. Tadasana. So just relax, feel the energy in your body. <clears throat> Uh, just relax your shoulders, your knees, breathe, and another round, inhale, let's come to Katasana, exhale, spread through the feet, bend the knees and up so you can feel the stretch around the ankles, up with the fingers on the inhale, down with the pelvis on the exhale, and then all the way up, coming down, hanging in the Tanasana with your hands on your elbows and really letting go. Again, lining up, 
sit bones, heels, let go of your bones, breathe out deep. Hands on the floor, coming back to plank. Three here. Keep checking your elbows aren't drifting out and you're supporting your spine with your abdominals. Coming down and coming up into long arm cobra and release the belly, exhale solar plexus, shoulders, push deep into your glutes, so really find the floor, not just big, with the big boy ones on the outside, but make a journey inward from the outside glutes, deep into, into the back of your pelvis. Breathe here, release, push up and back, toes tucked under, pose of the child, Lengthen out the back of the waist, spread the toes, don't pull on the elbows. Keep the chin tucked so the neck stays open. And then coming forward with the right foot. And coming into the lunge. Taking the hands away. Chest opener, exhale, drop the hands down and the chest up. Imagine the sun shining on you, giving you everything you need. Breathe it in. And then lift the arms wide. Spread the fingers, stabilize through the front foot, and then come back to down dog. Or something else, you could rest in pose of the child here or take some cat stretches. And left foot forwards. Stabilize, find your spine, your feet, and lift. Exhale, take the arms to shoulder height, rotate them so the palms are facing back, take the arms back, shoulder blades together. Heart lifting. Lifting the chin, but not cracking the head. So imagine you've got like a, an egg behind your skull. You can't break it. And then open to the world. And remember, feel confident, yeah? Feel confident in your ability to deal with whatever it is you're dealing with right now. Coming back, down dog. Breathe and settle, feel stable. Line up your weight, so thinking about your, sort of an expanded version of your core. Uh, just take a line from between your feet, the inside edges of the feet, up the inside of the legs, into the floor of the pelvis, behind the navel, up through the heart, into the crown of the head. And just Gently as you exhale, some ab <coughs> excuse me, some abdominal refinement there, and bringing the uh, bringing the feet forwards. Atanasana, fingertips forwards, lift and fold, or just drop down and fly up. Both Katasana, exhale, inhale, open, roll the shoulders, stand well, <clears throat> hands to the heart, deep breath in and out, relax the knees, draw the navel in on the exhale, and in, and out, lie down, <clears throat> And in, lift and lengthen the spine. Don't dip into the lower back too much. Keep the abdominals strong as you fold. Two flank. Hold for three. Excellent. Well done. And coming down. 
and lengthening up into your back bend. Pubic bone to throat, lifting, strong glutes, shoulders relaxed, nice soft throat. Gazing quietly, finding the breath, dropping into sphinx if you need to. Good job, all the way down. Push up, hook the core in. Toes tucked under, fingertips on the floor, draw back. Ears level with biceps, spread out your toes. Breathe in deep here. And exhale. And coming into down dog. Breathing in, feel light and buoyant, lift the heels. And breathing out, empty into the ground. Right foot. I hope you can see and hear this okay. <laughs> and lifting. And exhale, let's twist. So keeping the left sitting bone Drawing down, open the arms, twist between the shoulder blades. Let's take the right arm and just relax it down. Take the left arm to the outside of the right knee. Keep the chin down. Relax your hips. On the in, breathe deep into the heart. On the out, gently rotate between the shoulder blades. Keep the head soft. One more. And then lift back to centre, reaching back with the thumbs. Exhale. Back to down dog. Release the chest as you breathe out. And left foot. So really supporting the lunge with the front foot, uh, making sure the inside edge of your foot is on the floor and the base of the big toes on the floor. So just come down, exhale, and then lift the arms, come up and out breath. Release, rotate, soft gaze. Releasing through the hips, breathing into the chest. Exhale, rotate between the shoulder blades, keep the gaze soft and back up. Coming back to down dog. Walking forwards. Dropping down. Holding on to the elbows. Breathe deep and then release the hands to the floor and let go. Pull up the pelvic floor and fly up. Exhale, Tadasana. So just standing where you are. Just rolling on the feet, three deep breaths. Deep in through the nose, exhale, bend the knees and cross the wrists. Nice to shut the eyes, inhale. And out. One more. And squat. So just rolling the feet. Heel to toe. So I can only do short videos, unfortunately. So we'll have to call it a day with that, but you can repeat, obviously. So come to the lying down and release your lower back. Stretch your feet and hands, open your hips and take a big stretch. Breathe in, expand, expand into every cell. Exhale, curl into a ball, chest up, in, big stretch. Out, squeeze the air out. And Shavasana. So just have your hands on your belly. 
out beside you, palms up, close your eyes, try and find this quiet time now to release the work that you've done. So you just stay there in Shavasana. Just letting your breath settle. So focusing on the out breath. Just let your breathing be really normal. Don't try and control it. Don't impose your will upon it. Just focus your mind on your out breath. And if you can, feeling the out breath just travelling away from you. And when does the out breath end and the in breath begin? Feeling how your body empties empties of tension, empties of stress, empties of tight places. Use your mind to soften your joints so that they feel spacious, almost like the bones aren't connected, like your skeletons lying out on the floor in the shape that you are, but none of the bones are, are together. They're just placed and spacious and light. At the same time as you exhale, just allowing your skeleton to settle on the floor. So feeling like the bones of your legs are dropping downwards. Same with the bones of your arms. Soften your forehead, your eyes. And feel good about what you've done. I hope it's made you feel good. It's a privilege to practice with you. Thank you. So just allow your body to be as heavy as it can in the next two or three breaths. So you totally deflate. Take your attention to your nose, your nostrils, right and left. Start to breathe in a little bit more energetically. Breathe as if you are filling up a sponge, not an empty space. So let the in-breath come in slowly and mindfully. As you breathe out, continue to relax, but focus more on the inhalation because this is what gives us our life and our energy. Do that two or three times. And then just start to stretch your hands and feet gently. Just work spaces between your fingers and between your toes, out through your heels. And bend your knees, roll over and come and sit up with me. Excellent. So I hope that was good for you. Uh, please bear with me, as I say, um, I have cut off a couple of endings, not intentionally, um, but love you all. Uh, great to speak with you and share time. So um, uh, come back to this anytime you want, or if you need anything, 
um, that I haven't done, I'm really welcome feedback and um, I will keep doing at least one video every day. So lots of love to all. Just remember that you can protect yourself in your mind. You can not be frightened. Just feel that there's just your own atmosphere around you and you create that. You exist in it and shine in it. So in a moment, whenever you've got, just imagine a light glowing inside you and just filling you up and out, outside your body. Take care, yeah, see you soon.